Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Friday. There's really nothing really the last couple days. I mean, Black Ops 3 came out uh, today, well, last night at midnight or so, came out. I haven't heard really much on it yet, but I'm sure it's a decent game. It's just another Call of Duty, basically, like Black Ops, I don't know, same thing. Alright, so, let's just get right into it. Uh, there's this PS4 game called Hellblade, and it's going to be, they're trying to create a realistic woman. Uh, as a protagonist, you know, the main character. And, you know, Ninja Theories, uh, you know, explores mental illness and wants to look at it as believable as possible. That means, I guess, nailing the protagonist's expressions as they look human and giving the character a body with realistic proportions. So, kind of just doing a lot here. And I guess they detailed all the work that went into creating the uh, Sunua's face and the usage of a special device that allowed developers to capture even minute skin details and, like, the skin details on this look really good. I mean, for... I'm sure it's going to be pre-rendered. Almost, I don't know if it's going to look that good when it's completely finished with the product. But they also hired a special company that has 3D high-resolution scanning. And the actress uh, Sunu had to make a ton of expressions, which the scan equipment, equipment then captured. And, you know, even some weird expressions, I guess, like laughing and, you know, tongue out and all that good stuff. Alright, so... And, you know, I guess they said they had to make mess around with a lot of makeup as well. And they tried to narrow, nail the character's face paint that they're going to have on it. I mean, they have like, a picture in the background. I'm not sure if it's the game or if that's the real person because it looks that good. I mean, it's really weird because it's like the mouth moves and like, like the the cheekbones and stuff like move as well. It's, it's really, really cool. When you can watch a video, it looks it looks almost like a real person it's not there yet but it's probably one of the best people I've seen in a video game before and then they used a special you know straight-up body scanning you know it wasn't really successful at their first attempt at it but I mean it looks really good and then they have I guess they have a model built from scratch and then one based on an actual person and you can easily tell they said it's original model on the left which you can easily tell that it's created by somebody and then they had the one that was scanned in it looks noticeably different than what it w looked like then they had a video I guess to explain what they did and everything so yeah I mean it looks really good I mean I don't know what Hellblade really is it looks like a decent game I guess you know couldn't tell you though so what they said was it's very common for video game characters to have quite unrealistic stylized proportions we felt in this case that sticking to the original shape of a human body, an actual human body, we would reach the level of believability that we could otherwise not attain. So, I mean, they use high-tech equipment to do this, and I guess we'll have to see what the fully rendered person's going to look like when the game's finished, you know? I mean, it could be... I don't know. They could look good. It could look like a pile of dog shit, you know? <laughs> but, I don't know. It could look good. I mean, I, I'll probably bet it's going to be good. I don't know like in real time on the PS4 if they can handle that kind of power I mean yeah the person might look good but it, are the graphics gonna look really good too like the surroundings of the world I, I don't know I guess we'll have to see but cool cool on uh, their end to try to capture a realistic person I guess alright so here we go with the Call of Duty gonna be good right guys it's gonna be good times yeah alright so I guess the first time in a long time you know cuz Sony got that exclusive deal for Call of Duty and now it's they got the exclusive console, they got the commercials, they got the advertisement, they get the early DLC and everything for the game. And I guess Sony said it's the best place to play Call of Duty. Okay. And I guess, you know, whatever. So Sony's marketing partnership with Activision, which was all the way back at E3 in June when they, you know, remember if, I, I don't know if you guys remember at E3 when they announced it, it looked really good. So... There's that. This historic partnership that makes PlayStation the best place to play Call of Duty, he said. Adam Boys. The massive re, uh, reception to the game's multiplayer beta only a few months ago demonstrated a huge appetite for our fans have for this franchise in anticipation for Black Ops 3. This is the game our fans want, and we're proud to welcome Call of Duty to its new home on PS4. Alright, so not so much there, really, to be honest. And wow, that was weird. It's like glitching out. But. Nothing really out of the ordinary. I mean, yeah, PlayStation and best place to play, you know, whatever. Then they said, if you look at what are the most popular games in the industry, uh, well, today the number of the genre shooters, he said, so if you want to play Halo and Gears of War and Call of Duty, you want 
and if you want to play Battlefront, you're only going to be able to do that on the Xbox One. And so we feel like we'll continue to be more of the core shooter fans continue to play. We'll continue to be the most of the multiplayer games. Gaming continues to ha continues to happen. Uh, I can't even talk. Yeah, so, I mean, that was Microsoft. They didn't really sound worried about that. It was Adam Greenberg. And they don't sound that worried. They're like, yeah, we make better shooters, shooters than Sony. I mean, hands down, that's basically what they're saying. They're not putting it like that, but really what shooters does Sony have that are better than what Microsoft has made? Slim to none, really, to be honest with you. So, yeah, I don't know. Black Ops 3 is out today, guys, if you guys didn't know. I said it earlier in the video. And, yeah. PlayStation is, you know, obviously with Call of Duty, and this is their first attempt at it, so we'll see how that goes. Alright, so here's the last piece of news that I wanted to talk about, and it's pretty good. Gabe Newell, Steam machines are a bit better than the Xbox One or PS4. I guess it probably depends upon which one you get, but the Steam machines, they have a, a small, like, kiosk thing, not even a kiosk, it's like a small thing at, like, a GameStop or Best Buy, it's just small, people don't even know what the, what it is. They're like, oh, Steam Machine, what is that? And then they don't even get, they don't, they've never heard of it. So, I, realistically, I think the Steam Machine is going to fail hard because it's, like, price range, I think it was from $400, $500 maybe, all the way up to $5,000. It's like, people are going to be like, what's the difference? If, you, if you're not a PC guru, like, if you don't know much about consoles or PCs, you'd be like, oh, yeah, PS4, Xbox One, you know, that's pretty easy. You just pick which games you like better, basically. Or which console you prefer? Steam Machine, you're you're just wide open. It's it, you don't know unless you know what you're buying. And then if you're gonna spend that kind of money, say you're gonna spend three thousand dollars, you might as well build a PC and you can build a really nice PC for that and get Steam on it and get play the same games. I mean, it, I think it's gonna fail. I wanted it to do good, but Steam pretty much screwed themselves when they didn't release one console and to have it play a lot of the computer games that you can buy on Steam. So I don't know. I think it's gonna fail to be honest, but I guess this is what he had to say on it. Uh, he said, at console price points, he said, we're going to have machines like Alienware's, which are faster than today's consoles, so the same price point as today, expect you to get better performance and you're connected to everything you like about the PC and internet. I mean, he says, you know, he basically said Alienware's are faster and more powerful than what consoles are out here today. He said, so when we started pushing on this problem with Steam Machines, there were a lot of people who said nobody wants a PC in their living room, and we're like, okay, we need to break that down into tractable problems. One of the user, one is the user interface problem. How do you take something originally designed for a keyboard and mouse and make it easier for both the interface and content developers to work in both spaces to get the best out of both? That leads you to the Steam Big Picture Mode. I'm not a big fan of the Big Picture Mode. I'm not going to lie. I like the original Steam. I like to just do what I do on Steam. I, I'm not a big fan of the the big picture mode so I mean that's really cool I guess you know that they they took time to figure out how they're gonna do it and how they want to release these consoles I can see why they they did multiple ones because there's r low end ones that probably run not that good of games then there's ones that run pretty decent amount of games and you're gonna pay almost a thousand dollars for it it's like what are you doing you can build a decent computer for eight hundred nine hundred dollars I don't know why you'd spend that much on a console, but that's beyond me, whatever. That's your money. I'm not telling you what to do with it. So, to me, I I don't know. I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I guess we'll have to see in the future and see how well Steam Machines do, and if they take off, great. But seriously, Gabe Newell should have just... He should have just made one console. But then that would have limited themselves, too, I, I guess. But I would have I would have just went with one console and called it good. I don't know, maybe that's just my personal preference. But yeah, guys, are you guys going to get a Steam Machine or anything in the future? I mean, you, I, or would you just build a PC and it gets Steam? I mean, same difference, right? You're just going to, you you get to do a lot more with a PC. Be like, oh, I don't want a PC in my living room. It's like, okay, great, then buy a console. I don't, under I don't understand. So you want to spend more money to not have a PC box? I, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. All right, that's really all I want to talk about. Uh, I'll try to be live streaming this weekend sometime, so that I guess just look on Facebook and stuff, and yeah, just let me know, you know, what you guys think of this whole Steam Machine thing, Call of Duty, whatever, or, you know, the realistic person on the video game. All sounds pretty interesting, so, all right, guys, make sure to like this video, comment, friend, and subscribe, and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. I will talk to you guys on Monday.
well, maybe doing live streams too if I do this weekend. So I'll see you guys on Monday then. Have a good one.